Hello, this is part two of our Community Builder Privacy Add-on tutorial. Uh, in the previous tutorial about uh, the Privacy Add-on, I showed you how to actually enable uh, privacy on a specific field and how the user can make changes and so on. Today we'll look into uh, three other features and I hinted upon this when we looked at the field management and looked at the three privacy fields that were, that have been added. There's a privacy profile and the privacy disable me field and a privacy delete me field. Okay, let's take a look at the privacy profile field, for, for example. We'll see that in addition to the global tab, it has a parameters tab which has a layout sub-tab and a privacy sub-tab. And this privacy sub-tab basically uh, allows us to set the default uh, value for profiles. And initially it's set to public. That means by default, all the profiles are public. Uh, of course, there is a community builder field configuration actually that also plays in this matter so if you go to community builder configuration and look at the user profile tab we have uh, a profile view access level which is also set to public okay uh, so these two have to these two parameters the community builder configuration profile view access level parameter and the privacy field parameter have to basically uh, match. I mean, they basically combine for the end result. So let's go here and instead of having privacy profile, the default set to uh, public, let's set it to users, meaning that only that by default, uh, each user can see somebody else's profile. The public cannot. Uh, we'll also see there's the integration tab here that's been added for CB privacy because the CB privacy field is a field also, but we should never really touch this because uh, it doesn't really apply here and it's just placed here by the plugin. So go back. We set this users. We set the default value to be users. Save and close. Now, what happens if I go to the front end here now and actually log in as a user? Okay, and let's go to the profile here. And let's just edit the profile. Uh, if you look at the fields, all three, three of these fields are in the contact info tab by default. Of course, you can move things around if it makes sense. I'm just going to be presenting the default uh, settings here. So if I edit, if I edit the details, the profile, and look in the contact info tab, I will see that there is a uh, profile privacy drop down here that by default set to public. But I can go ahead and override this the same way I did for a specific field. But this will basically apply to the entire profile. <coughs> Let's leave it like this, for example. Uh, and let's look at the other two fields also here. The delete my profile, my account is a, really a link where the user can actually request his account to be deleted. Uh, a user can also disable the account. Basically, temporarily, I just want to disable the account and I can come back later and re-enable it. Uh, but let's look at this in the uh, follow-up. So that's how the default works here. Let me just cancel this. I'm not doing anything. If I go the way things are now and look at my CB user list, I'll see, see uh, I'm logged in. But even if I wasn't logged in, let me just log out, I will still be able to see. Uh, I actually only see one Antonis. Because, let me look at the privacy profile here. Because I set this to users. 
okay so the default is users and when I look at the public I only see Antonis profile why because Antonis is the only one that has edited his profile let me just show you this again the only one had, that has edited his profile to be public edit update profile contact info and we see it's public if I turn this also to users and save update and log out if I now go to CB user manager CB user lists I shouldn't see anything it should be an empty user list so we see that the user list also uh, uh, looks at the privacy settings of the profile in order to show fields and users okay now let me go back now and look at how the other two parameters work let me just go ahead Antonis password okay so if I look at if I edit my profile here and actually uh, go ahead and request <coughs> to disable my account pops up a warning message if I say okay and we can give a reason here just testing disable account there we go so what happens now if I try to log in as Antonis I will get a message saying that the login is blocked and how is it unblocked it has to be unblocked from the back end basically the user would have to send an email to the admin saying you know I disabled my account or my account has been disabled for whatever reason because uh, this could also happen from the back end and the user would have to the, the administrator would have to go to the back end here go to community builder plugin management and we see there's a privacy plugin and a closed let's click click on the closed and we see that Antonis has been disabled I can go ahead and just edit this just click here how do I how do I uh, enable this I go back basically I can delete this delete this record that's disabled let's just delete it see what happens so now if I look at Antonis in the back end there we go he's still not uh, enabled so let me just go here and enable him there we go now he should be able to log in from the front end there we go okay you can experiment with this and how it works but basically the users I mean you can turn off disabling if you want how do you do this just go to the community builder uh, field management area and unpublish the disable me field here so if it doesn't make sense for a use case just unpublish it and then the user editing his field should not see that field at all in the contact info see we only have delete my account okay I think uh, we've covered most of the features uh, just a, another one that you can actually set privacy level on a tab level on a tab basis so if I go to my additional info tab I can also just go ahead here and integrations set privacy on for this for the whole tab here just cancel this so it's pretty powerful actually and there's one more feature let's assume we want to have a tab that's just seen by the user and the moderators you can just go to the tab here additional info again and actually turn on instead of user can control privacy just say forced privacy control and make this forced 
to be private, for example. Or you can actually, yeah, make this force be private. In that, in that case, just the user and the moderators can see the tab. Okay, I think I've given you enough uh, of, you know, direction to actually explore these possibilities. I mean, it's quite flexible and you can basically more or less do whatever you want. Uh, thanks for watching. Just a reminder that CB Privacy is a paid add-on that's available for advanced professional or developer members on Joomlapolis. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.